just drove up here to Cousins. He's out here fabricating, working on something to fix this feeder household. So what you doing there, Cuz? Oh, friendly, huh? <laughs> That's a fine cutting rig right there. I've cut many a thing with the uh, blade like that on my saw. Just manhandle it and hold it and don't let it kick back on you and you get to have a good time with it. Yeah, you speak English? Just a little bit, not a lot. It's tainted by that southern slang. Oh, nope. Let's see if we can get a view of this right here. Yep. That's what Cousins got to fix right there. Is that hole. As you can see, my hand comes up right there. And he has a piece to stick in here for us to look at and see what it's going to do. side and that side so you are going to go with covering the whole thing yeah good I mean, job I figured out i had enough metal uh can i suggest what push it to one side or the other and add one piece instead of adding two pieces okay that's just a suggest i don't know i'm just asking you why well adding one piece to it is less work than adding two pieces to it okay. and that's just my lazy approach to something <laughs> Yeah, when you push it down, it should line up. Almost. Okay. Yeah, I think that piece of metal you bought is going to be a whole lot better than that piece of metal that I was attempting to use or thinking about using because that one's going to be easier to bend and put in place. Right. Love your workbench, man. That's awesome. Yeah, for me it worked. It. Hey, it works. It got you up off the floor. <laughs> What was it? 26, yeah. I got to measure. Uh, where's my measuring thing? What'd you do with it? Ah. Uh, yeah, you did. Wait a minute. I ain't been here long enough to get blamed for, for, for losing the tool yet. You have to do that. Well, you're going to have to give me more time. I'll help you lose something if you just give me a little more time. <laughs> All right. We have three and almost three quarters. Yep. Three and three quarters. Wait a minute. Where are you getting that? Uh-oh. -uh. Two and three quarters, excuse me. Yeah, I like the two and three quarters better than the three and three quarters. Mm -hmm. They could get two for this type of application. And I thought about, you know, I could have took the Lincoln out from behind there and cleaned it up and got Mama's generator and used it. That stick welder ain't, ain't gonna work on this thin stuff. No. You blow a hole in it. It was gonna be touch and go with them small rods with that uh, Sentry of mine because the Sentry has um, continuously variable adjustment on it yeah. is what would have allowed us to dial it in. But that Lincoln, it's click you're here and click you're there. I'm gonna slide it up. Well, we'll let him fiddle with this and figure it out. Like you saw, it just come out of the box. Well, folks, I thought I'd tell you where we ended up here tonight. Um, read the instructions on this little wire feed welder and got over here and started just learning how to use it and uh found out that the on the very lowest setting on this thing is still too hot and it's blowing holes in the uh piece of metal that uh cousin wanted to use uh it's a fine little welder though because we got over here on a thicker piece of steel and kept messing with it and learning about it and actually ran some fairly decent beads that uh just flat beads across the steel got good penetration i could tell by the heat on the back side but we're just gonna quit for tonight and start over tomorrow with some thicker metal that i've got over at the house 
everybody thanks for watching uh thanks for subscribing and i'd like to say welcome to the channel to all the new subscribers that have showed up here uh thank you very much for subscribing and uh we'll be over here working on this project seeing if we can get this uh fixed so we can shell some corn with this uh little glenner combine here sitting up here bye y'all